All right, hey, what is up guys, Kenny here. Welcome back to the Black Ops 3 video. Today we have a regular commentary for you guys, which I just want to point out, by the way, I absolutely suck at these commentaries. But I got this gameplay the other day and I wasn't uh, I wasn't recording or anything. I was just playing actually to test out some settings. Um, and I think, I, yeah, I, had a, I, had, I was using a new mouse too. And I got a, my, I guess my best nuclear gameplay ever. And it was with the Dingo, which is, you know, a pretty decent gun. I, I wouldn't say the best, but I think my favorite LMG is the BRM. But this, this gun's decent. Sometimes I do good with it. Sometimes I absolutely suck with it. But this game, I went absolutely off. I will try to put the class description or at least um, a picture of it in the, uh, in the in the video itself. But uh, yeah, if I forget, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I know for sure that I was using Fast Mag, Extended Mags, Rapid Fire, and ELO. There's just one other attachment. I think it might have been Quick Draw that I was using. And then I just pretty much had on my, my default... Uh, my default stuff. I wasn't using scavenger. I was using fast hands and then, you know, tack mask over or not overdrive, but like uh, afterburner stuff like that. My, my typical stuff you guys see me using in most videos. But anyways, um, this gameplay is 55 and 0 with the dingo. I was on a 55 gun streak, no lethals. And uh, there's a couple of times where it got dicey. It wasn't the dingo only because, like I said, I didn't have on scavenger. Um, yeah, I didn't have on scavenger, so I had to pick up a weevil and stuff like that. So it wasn't uh, it wasn't exactly a dingo only nuclear but for the most part it was used with the dingo and then uh the weevil that i picked up off this dude so with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed the video but today i want to talk about something that i think is going to be really interesting and really cool to see hopefully a lot of people partake in this thing that i'm going to talk about and we can get a lot of you know i guess new content here on the channel it'll be good for youtube it'll be good for a lot of players on pc i hope i hope i hope a lot of people participate so um if you guys haven't been paying attention to pc dev on twitter he's like the guy that runs like the community things for black ops 3 and like you know makes like the double xp weekends and the hard point weekends and stuff like that that you guys have seen on my channel i know you guys don't get it on console but it's just like a pc thing since a lot of people really only play tdm and domination they've been doing these weekend things for more people to play different game types and as like an incentive like hey if you play this game type you get double xp now uh that's been really cool so what they're doing is for 30 days starting may 30th for 30 days they're making all the dlc on pc free so if you guys are console players and there's ever a time that you wanted to try out pc may 30th and like the next month after that is a time to play because all dlc is going to be free and even if you have the starter pack which i think is like a 15 dollar call of duty thing um it's, it's like a multiplayer pack you can't really prestige or anything and you can only play multiplayer i think but um it's like 15 bucks you can play multiplayer you can rank up all the way to 55 so you can unlock like all the attachments and stuff for your gun and stuff like that but you just can't prestige or anything so if there's ever a time that you guys want to try blackouts 3 now is the time i actually think there might still be a sale going um <clears throat> excuse me i think there might still be a sale going on i'm not 100 sure but there was one we have a lot of new players on pc we almost had 10k players concurrent at one time um on uh i know i know it probably doesn't seem a lot for console people but that's a lot for pc because we have like four or five thousand six thousand max but we almost had ten thousand people with the sale so it's been really cool and starting may 30th like i said all multiplayer dlc will be free so you can play you don't have to have the season pass you don't have to buy any of the dlc you can play it for free now um uh, as an incentive to people to buy the season pass if you do have it you will be getting double xp on all the dlc maps so for me and people that have the season pass if we play it we'll be getting double xp but if you don't have the season pass or you don't have any of the dlc you'll be able to play it you just won't get the double xp and if you do buy the season pass then obviously you will get the you will get the double xp so i don't know i don't think it's really worth it to buy the season pass to get the double xp but if you are new to like cod pc if you just got the game and you want to level up quickly and if you don't have the starter pack then the, for the next 30 days it's not a weekend it's the next 30 days a whole month of double xp if you guys have the season pass so i'm not telling you to go out and buy it um but if you guys are one of those people that just got the game and you really want to prestige and rank up really fast then i think now is the time to do it and with all the DC dlc being free i think a lot of people are going to be playing it hopefully i'm i'm really hoping that they throw it into regular rotation i think they have it i've had my dlc disabled for a while because if you have it on and well right now if you have it on a lot of people aren't playing the dlc but I think once it becomes free, I think a lot of people are going to be playing it. So it's going to be really cool for us PC players. We're going to actually get a chance to play a lot of the DLC maps that a lot of you guys console or a lot of you console players already play. But for us, it's like kind of like a new experience because not too many people play it. When it comes out, there's people playing it maybe for like the first two days. And then after that, it's done. So you get like a day of playing it and then it's completely gone pretty much unless you play like against bots and stuff. So I just want to let you guys know that that um this at, you know starting may 30th is gonna be super insane uh hopefully we'll have a lot of dlc content coming out for you guys i'm ex i'm super excited to play some of the maps because there's a lot of the dlc maps that i still haven't even touched like that raid one i've only played it against bots and i only played it once like i really want to replay that 
and there's some other ones I really want to play. Hopefully he has some really cool clips, because like I said, I think for 500k I am going to be making another montage. I don't know how long it's going to be. I got some really cool clips uh, saved up. I got some five mans and a lot of quad feeds and stuff, so I think it's going to be really good. But it would be really cool if before we hit 500k, if we could get some DLC like, you know, quad feeds and stuff on there. I think that'd be super sick. But um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that. I think it's a really, really cool thing for PC players. And like I said, if you guys are console players, but you want to try out PC, maybe grab the starter pack if it's still available. I think it is it's like 15 bucks. Hop on PC, play the DLC maps for free for a weekend. There's probably going to be a lot of people playing and just stuff like that. I think it's going to be really cool. I'm hoping that they throw in a free weekend like halfway through the month. That way, you know, there's even more people playing it since it's like free DLC, free weekend. We'll hopefully have a lot of people playing and maybe that'll give people an incentive to buy the game and, you know, level up and stuff like that. So anyways, that's all I wanted to say. I know I talked really fast, but hopefully I got the point out to you guys that starting May 30th is going to be pretty cool on PC. I'm hoping a lot of people play it. If you guys are PC players, make sure you turn on your DLC. Um, and re-enable re it if you guys have disabled it. That way you can play it and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be really cool. I wanted to let you guys know we are ending the, uh, we're nearing the end of the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you guys could drop a like on the video for my, my I guess my best nuclear ever. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's a 55 gun streak. So uh, pretty insane. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave you guys with the last couple minutes, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.